Most of us outside of Japan may not be aware of some of the more interesting personalities within the Japanese otaku landscape. So I thought I'd do a little video series and try to shed some light on these individuals. This is Otaku Files. <laughs> <laughs> and what better way to kick off Otaku Files than with someone that some may argue personifies one of Japan's more modern issues, Japan's most famous virgin, Gumpi, more commonly known as Bucky Bucky Dote. And no, this isn't me trying to shame this individual, his brand actually centers around the fact that he is a virgin. But we'll get more into that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Bucky Bucky is an onomatopoeia, meaning a hard object breaking and being snapped. Because of this meaning, Bucky Bucky also means to look ripped or shredded. Dote, on the other hand, means virgin, more specifically directed towards guys, while shoujo is used for girls. <laughs> In more recent years, Bucky Bucky is also used in other ways to mean excitement or to strengthen the meaning of something, such as Mega Bucky Bucky, which in this case means to be wide awake. So we can translate Bucky Bucky Dote to something like Extreme Virgin, or maybe even Elite Virgin. すごく。YouTube内で is actually one half of the comedy duo called Haru to Hikoki. Interestingly, his friend who makes up the other half of the duo spent three years as a neat before asking Gumpi to form Haruto Hikoki. There are plenty of videos talking about neats on YouTube, but if you'd like me to make a video on them, please let me know in the comments below. Now, before agreeing to join Haruto Hikoki, Gumpi at the time was the store manager for the Kanagawa branch of Book Off, Japan's most famous secondhand bookstore chain. He was actually so good at his job his store ended up being number one in sales. And one of the ways he actually achieved that was pure genius. で、コンビニからもいずれ減るから、まず本屋からお金にしましょうって言って、その市では、え、新刊書店からエロ本が消えたんですよ。ほう。あの、エロ本を置きます、うちはって。エロ本コーナーなかったんですけど、その。で、
but since he was now so well known as Bucky Bucky Dote, his manager made the suggestion for him to put out his own YouTube channel. Originally coming from the angle of being a virgin interacting with women of certain job types, his Bakido channel skyrocketed and he found himself being a full-fledged YouTuber. <laughs> his natural camera presence and charisma coupled with solid video ideas made for some amazing content and he even found himself collaborating with some pretty famous individuals. Originally saying that his aim was to end his channel as soon as he would have his first time, with now over a million subscribers and now having a whole crew behind his channel, Gumpy's virginity might now forever be protected, whether he likes it or not. He might not be worldwide famous anytime soon, but for us otaku who are also generally into Japanese subculture, Baki Baki Dote's channel is definitely one to check out. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Otaku Files. Let me know if you want to see any more, and if you have any suggestions of people I should cover, you can also let me know that too in the comments below. Anyway, take care guys. Thank you so much. Peace.